I want to scare myself with my art. Not scare in a way of me not knowing who I am. I want to scare myself. I want to look back on my work and be like, you were bold enough to say that. You were bold enough to do this. You were expressive enough to present it in this way. Yo, yo, I don't make fake fuck shoot you in your face on. I don't make I've got a nice Gucci belt and waist on. I don't make songs pretending to be Pacino. Cast in the roller Scarface or a Pesci in Casino. Deadly with the pen like that scene in Casino. My name's Mike Assassin. I'm a music artist, entrepreneur, and video director. I run several businesses. I enjoy creating music and just creating these different worlds within my art. I sent out demo tapes when I was like 14 to a variety of different <laughs> independent record labels which I um, I found out about in the Yellow Pages. So I found out about all these different record labels and I sent them all my demo tapes on a TDK. And some of them got back to me, some said I was terrible and I just never heard from the majority of them. No one else, no one else would understand it, but I'll start a song here and finish it like <laughs> over there. <laughs> but I understand it, yeah, it's like I can always find it. Songwriting's almost like cleansing your soul. It's like you get to a point where you've gone through, you might have gone through past relationships, you might have gone through situations with family, situations with money, situations at school, situations with your group of friends. And for me, like songwriting was always just a way to get that stuff out. It was almost like, okay, I never had a good day today. How can I creatively put that bad day into a song? How can I creatively get that feeling out? And for me, it was almost, therapeutic. The overall vision and dream I guess is to be free really. As an artist I want to break out of those confines of having to fit within a particular genre, a particular way of storytelling. As, as artists we're storytellers right so I want to find the most unique, creative and comfortable way for me to tell those stories and then kind of shatter that little perfect world I've built for myself. I want to be I want to get to a stage where I have a vast catalogue of music which is, um, it reflects the different stages of my life. Performance wise, I want my performances, it's twofold. I still have that element where I'm an MC. I want to be able to jump on any stage with a microphone and express to the audience that I'm talented, I'm good, this is what I can do. But then there's the other side of it, the side of me that's a video director, I want my performances to be an extension of my music visuals. So I want the performance to be immersive, whether that's using lighting, whether that's using dancers, whether that's using actors or different people who interact with the performance. I want, I want my live show to feel like the audience is a part of the music. One extra from the BBC. MCs like Mike Assassin yeah, make it easier to do what we do. <laughs> a fresher breath rare. What's going on, Mike? What's going on, fam? Easy, easy. Cool. <laughs> Mike Assassin in the building. What's going on, blood? You good? Yeah, I'm safe, man. Got my... Only supreme beings can be in the circle. Only supreme beings transform human beings for universal. Energy, how your thoughts move is everything. Energy and how your thoughts move is everything. I roll with kings and queens with majestic meddlings. We want to stack billions upon billions. Still find time to balance our spiritual brilliance. Live in the confines of Britain and England, the level is militant. They say get money and move out of hood. I say set up a business, give back to your hood. They say give us your money, but your colours no good. I say put our money together, do what we should. I've been kiss 100, a bit nervous. Nah, go so Mike Assassin, as I understand it, you've been burning, burning, burning up the streets with the freestyle thing. Yeah. Taking it to MCs across the capital, across the UK, and from what I understand, NYC. Yeah, man. Tell me how that went down, man. Tell me, tell me. I've done creative showcases which have kind of expressed myself as an MC. So I've done performances, battle performances in front of large audiences. One of them was at the Mob Deep concert back in 2004, and that was in front of a hungry audience, massive audience, one of the biggest audiences I've battled in front of.
Then there's other audiences I battled in front of at the UK b-boy competition. So you have these different audiences and it creates a, a different kind of paradigm shift because you don't know how each one's going to react to your line. Then I've done performances where, where I'm rapping in a boxing ring. One of the performances that stands out was at the Tate Modern Gallery. And it was literally a boxing competition, a boxing exhibition where there's two boxers boxing against each other. And I'm freestyling as the narrator. So I'm walking around the ring and I'm freestyling to the audience and I'm making up lyrics on the spot. And it became so immersive and entertaining to the audiences. I had my mum there, I had my grandmother there. And those kind of performances stand out. And so, yeah, I've done a variety of things as well as the intimate kind of hip-hop shows where there's four people in the audience and that's, that's all that's came out of the night. Or I perform to hundreds in different parts of the world. So yeah, it's really interesting. And um, I think performances have to be definitely a, a, um, a staple of any artist's kind of development. Performing in front of four people, performing in front of thousands of people. Yo, so my spit flows on stage And yo, my battle, you amateurs I'm only an MC and I'm one sick of a hell of a cameraman Yo, I spit real words With these cameras, I'm like Steven Spielberg with real words Yo, I spit and I'm stopping you Shout out to Cobra Commander, my boy beside Bollegal Yo, we're up in Christianania I kill rappers, bitch, best like Wrestlemania Yo, I spit in the verbal Vulcan I'm like, oh, I'm a warrior versus Ho Hogan So I'm spitting the lies, of course I'm spitting the mind I'm spitting the brand, yo the most unique way I can say is like um, I write visually so I write a song at the same time that I am creating the treatments for the visuals so every time I write music I'm thinking how can I represent this visually how can I bring this to life in a different way and I think that separates me because I'm no longer listening to it as just eight bar loops, 16 bar loops. I'm thinking, what visual story can I tell with this? And I try to write that way as well. So I think I separate myself from other artists in the sense that I'm fully trying to give them a whole rounded picture of myself as an artist, which is a hard thing. I like to try and listen to everything. I like to, and I think sometimes as artists, that's what can be quite hard sometimes because you have to absorb pain, you have to absorb love, you have to absorb everything that's going on in the world and kind of eject out your version of those events. So I, I try to, I'm trying to pay attention and listen to that kind of inner voice a lot more. LDN rains too much, water droplets bring the pain to us. They say we ain't changed or we change too much. I wonder if slaves chain that chains that rust. I guess I can't complain that much. Credit card debt got me feeling all fucked. And yo, boss man, five wings and chips, please.